can get its grace till we become the place where in the Holy Spirit makes his dwelling. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, my dear brothers and sisters, this is very loud. Hang on. My dear brothers and sisters, we come before God this day to offer our lives into his service, to seek the direction he has for us, and to be helped as how to live as his people. We come before him in meekness and offer our very lives into his hands, that we may go forth from this place and reveal his goodness through us in the world. We are aware, though, that in our lives, so often we can fall away from that call, when our thoughts, words and actions lead us into sin. Let us place those times of failing and weakness before God our Father, asking for his mercy. Lord, you are born from the Virgin Mary for the salvation of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you died on the cross to heal the wounds of sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you rose from the dead to open for us the gates of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Amen. And so let us pray. A God who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed are those who trust in mere mortals and make mere flesh their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness, in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm, happy are, those, are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are, happy they, are they who hope, who hope in, the in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. 
He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Happy are, Happy they, are they who hope, hope in the, in the Lord. Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just and the way of the wicked vanishes. Happy, Happy are, are they, they who, who hope, hope in, in the Lord. Lord. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. If Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some say there is no resurrection of the dead? For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then those also have, who have died in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead and the first proof of those who have died. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured and all in the crowd were trying to touch him for power came out from him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Will you be seated, please? Woe, 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 and thrice woe. Oh, oh, you lot are in trouble today, are you not? My goodness me, if you don't follow the rules, you're stuffed. That's what it can feel like, can't it, today? The Beatitudes are good stuff. Oh, better not wake them up. The, be the Attitudes is the good stuff. There's a followed by this belt in the back. You must follow the rules. You must learn your catechism. You must do everything right. You must sign up to the stewardship scheme. Renew your name on the electoral roll this year or you're out of the club altogether. Uh, otherwise, you will not get into heaven. Ooh. Does it feel like that? I don't know. Rules are something that sometimes we don't like very much. We don't like following rules. Now, there's one that's come out recently which has just about 
got us all. The Highway Code. Cyclists and pedestrians now have priority over drivers in the Highway Code. Have you learnt about it yet? Have you stopped at a junction yet to let a pedestrian cross the road or a cyclist go by? Have you? I was faced with a real one about two weeks ago. I was going up to the range at Deverford and as I got to the corner, there was a woman with her dog. Now the Highway Code apparently now says that that woman standing at the corner is now allowed to cross the road as I sit in the middle of the dual carriageway, waiting for her to cross the road. That's the law, that's the rules. I didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. So we just carried on. We broke the rules. She had to wait for ages to cross the road, running across with the dog in between the traffic. Look what the rules were designed to fix. I mean, actually in Australia, we had that turning left rule, which took a lot of getting used to. A lot of getting used to, letting people crossing the road next to you. It was quite something. Thing is, we haven't been taught about these rules. We've only been told that they've come into force. I'm pretty sure none of you have rushed out and bought a new copy of the Highway Code, have you? No, not even Googled it, no. We just know what we've seen on the news. But it's there. And we ought to get it, because if I'd have hit that woman, I, well, it would have been awful really for her and me, but it would have added an extra weight of irresponsibility to me. Rules are there. Today we get all these rules that come bursting out from Jesus. This kind of instructions, blessed are those, blessed are those, blessed are the meek, those who search for, for justice, and woe to you that don't, and woe to you that don't. Very similar to the commandments, of course, that are simply setting out what you should and shouldn't do. We follow the commandments to the letter, don't we, folks? <laughs> and we follow the Beatitudes to the letters, don't we, folks? Oh, almost. We give it a go, we try, it often goes wrong. There's a difference, though. There's a difference that comes out in this Gospel reading. And it comes right at the beginning there. As I say, the devil is always in the detail. It is always important to read the Gospel. That's why the Bibles are out now, at last. It starts off by saying this. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a level place. And a great crowd of his disciples and multitude gathered around. This is Luke at his finest. This is Luke helping us get towards Jesus. Up to then, it certainly feels that the relationship between God, as we know, is God there telling us everything we need to know and us down here getting it wrong. But here, in the Beatitudes, yes, we've been up a hill, affectionately called a mountain, it's really just a nice hill, so we have this connection with heaven and God, but Jesus comes down to the level place. He comes and stands eye to eye amongst those who are following him, the disciples, that's you, and the multitude of the curious crowd. He who has made heaven and earth the creator of all things, who has given us the ability to decide and think and transform the world or destroy it, comes and stands on our level. Not delivering the instructions, not sending them out in a, miss in a missive from the department of God. These will be followed now. He comes and lives them amongst us amongst us. We're trying, as, as I said earlier on, to get our minds around these changing rules of the highway code. No one has really come and explained them to us. No one has stood with me and sat with me and said, 
This is how it's going to make things better. This is how we're going to live more harmoniously and be safe. They have just been sent. But here Jesus comes and on our level lives out these guides to life, these calls to holiness. Most of them are actually fairly obvious. They're like the Ten Commandments. I mean, they're blindingly obvious, really. Not a great idea to go around killing people, stealing. And here, to be meek and listen to others and help them, to seek the life of holiness, is really quite obvious. But he delivers it from amongst us. This is where, this is where our faith becomes so strong. God. God. In Christ. With us. It's Christmas again. God living amongst us. Looking us in the eye, knowing when we are going to fall. Looking us in the eye and helping us get back up again. Our Christian faith is not a faith of fear, not a faith of blind obedience. It is a faith of God with us, helping us day in, day out, decision in, decision out to help this beautiful kingdom that he has grow. The Beatitudes help us on the way and we use them when we try and discern our own way in life. Yes, they're used as a list to discern who may be a saint. But they are a good checkpoint for us. They're a good place for us to check into and see how we are doing. And whether we're doing it right or whether we're doing it wrong, it's all right. Because he's on our level. An extraordinary moment. We are part of the great family of Christians throughout the world. And in common with our brothers and sisters, let us declare the faith which we hold together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate for the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us then offer our prayers to God our Father, who hears us always when we call upon him. Let us pray to the Father whose pardoning love embraces all people. Grant that the Church, trusting in Christ, the second Adam, may proclaim with confidence the good news of redemption. Give your people grace to be patient and forgiving, 
seeking to be in love and peace with all. We pray for all bishops, priests and deacons throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Look with pity on the anger and violence of the world. Bring peace between nations. Grant to all who are at variance with each other. They will forgive wrongs and live in harmony. We pray for at this time for those seeking peace along the borders of the Ukraine and Russia. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that our families may always be kept in perfect love and care for one another. Give us grace to be peacemakers when there is strife among those who, with whom we live and work. We pray at this time for our adopted ship, HMS Scott. We pray for those in, who teach at uh, Ford Primary School, for the staff. We also pray for the people of Keon at this time, and for Derriford Hospital as they fight the coronavirus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Have mercy on families that are broken by resentment and misunderstanding. Bring them reconciliation in the power of your love. Praying at this time for all who have asked for our prayers. The sick, the lonely, and the homeless. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died and are changed from mortality to immortality by the power of the risen Christ, praying also at this time for those whose years mind occur at this time. Give them joy in your heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That we may love others as Christ loves us, we pray in his name. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Hear us, Lord, as we offer our lives to you in prayer. Read our hearts well and answer these prayers in ways we know and in ways we cannot understand. We call upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we were baptised into one body. Let us then pursue everything that makes for peace and builds up our life together. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created mankind, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from all you have created, rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Bartholomew, Mark, Anne, Mary of the Cross, and with all the saints on whose constant prayer in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your, your servants, your bishops, the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on, bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen.
as our Saviour's taught us, so we have the confidence to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen.
So let us pray. Having fed on these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Right, okay, before I send you off out into the world, and a beautiful day it is as well, isn't it? Oh my word, if you're a duck, you're, you're having a time of your life out there. If you're us, well, never mind, never mind. But the weather is going to get better, definitely for you two. The weather is going to get better. Spring is on its way. I can't wait. Oh, let it start soon. What more can we want? Here we go. What's going to happen then? I published the bands of marriage between Christopher Edward William Greaves Stock, a single of this parish, and Natalie Ann Rowland, single of this parish, being married at St Andrews in Plymouth. This is for the third time of asking if any of you know any reason in law why those two may not marry each other. <laughs> you must declare it now. Oh, he's doing well. That's six now. You're all right. Okay. Just one more to go and that's only wedding day. That's right. As you kneel down with the things on the bottom of your shoes and stuff, that won't be there, will it? No. Well, good stuff, mate. We're really pleased, mate. There we go. You look after a lot of our kids in this area. So, uh, in a moment, I'll send you off in a bit uh, with God's blessing upon you. Well done. That's it. Um, for the rest of you, um, next week, uh, you'll be receiving all the stuff about Lent. Ah, oh, giving you all kinds of exciting stuff. We got lots of stuff happening in Lent this year. After two years of not being able to do anything or doing it through little screens and going, you mute, you unmute, you mute, unmute, you mute, unmute, I can't hear you, my speaker's not working, your microphone's not on, that's gone. We can do it in real life this year. There'll be weekday, weekday courses and also some monks shared with some of the other parishes around here Whoa, on Sundays. So uh, all that will be coming at you. Uh, next weekend so get ready bring your diaries and get the dates in all right don't anybody say to me what are we doing you'll have it loads of stuff there we go i've come back from a couple of weeks off with a spring in my step i'm not going to be put down by this here weather and i'm looking forward to lent this year like i haven't for a long time okay well let's get you out there let's get you out there into god's kingdom let's get you out there where those Beatitudes, where those calls to living that Christ has given you and shared with you can be lived out. And don't worry if you get it right. Well, don't worry if you get it wrong, should I say, because he'll help you next time get it right. He's there with you as you get it right, as you get it wrong, as you stumble, as you fall, as you raise up. He will be with you. That's the promise that Christ has brought us down from that mountain. Would you stand please? The Lord be with you and also with you. May Christ grant you holiness to follow him in faith, hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 
we beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>